Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond the Varley. My name is Natalie and today we're here in Luke Parnell's exhibition, Repeat the Chorus, three times here at the Varley Art Gallery. Now Luke Parnell is an Indigenous artist, originally from the northwest coast of British Columbia. He is Wilp Lackey Kniska from Jingolks on his mother's side and Haida from Masset on his father's side. Now before receiving his Masters in Fine Arts, Luke actually trained with a master carver to learn traditional Northwest Coast design. And now he combines these traditional techniques with contemporary ideas. Today we'll be looking at the visual elements of all three box drums to learn a little more about Northwest Coast art and how they provide insight into the different stories that they hold. We will also explore how Luke's three box drums represent this idea of carrying knowledge, culture, and trauma both physically and metaphorically. As we enter this space, we'll encounter three box drums in a row. Now this work is considered a triptych, which is an artwork that's made up of three parts. These box drums are meant to balance each other out, but they can also function independently from one another. We'll first begin by looking at this box drum here, titled First Beat, A Common Gift. What is most striking about this work is the use of traditional formline design on the front of this box drum. Now formline refers to the highly stylized use of curvilinear lines of varying widths that's a distinguishing feature of Northwest Coast art. One primary design element found in Northwest Coast art is the ovoid, which is a rounded rectangular shape that is frequently expanded, elongated, compacted, or adapted. They commonly appear as eye sockets and eyes, heads, joints, and space fills. In black and red, Luke is painted an eagle design to represent his maternal grandmother who belongs to the eagle clan. Now symmetry is another important element of Northwest Coast art, where one side is reflected on the other. And we can begin by understanding the images by looking at representation from nature. And oftentimes animals are arranged to fit the space and can be depicted from the inside, outside, front, or back. Now, as we move over to the back, painted in all black is a raven design to represent Luke's paternal grandmother. Now, this side is far more sparse and simplistic as opposed to the front. And this is because this is the side that the box drum is played while the front faces outwards. Inside, we have a carving of an eye. This holds the idea that Luke's grandmothers are watching over him as the drum is being played. This first box drum, concerned with carrying culture and tradition, acts as an entry point into the larger narrative. Moving over here, this next box drum is titled Second Beat, Only What You Take With You. Unlike the first box drum, Luke is painted on three panels of this one, the front and the two sides. And you can see how it wraps around the edge so it forms a continuous image. Here, he paints a raven to represent his father's crest. On the back, Luke attaches an assemblage of objects to the box drum. We have a backpack, raincoat, paintbrush, and knife, for instance, all of which together illustrate the artist himself as a self-portrait of sorts. Peering inside, we can take note of a small figure painted in red, and this represents a fetus. Luke considers this box drum the fulcrum point which balances the other two. It has to do with both culture and trauma the two of which are carried and one must learn how to carry throughout their lifetime. This box drum also balances the lightness and visual design of the first with the darkness and compactness of the last box drum. This third and last box drum is titled Third Beat, waiting for a call that says it's mom. It's the smallest of the three and it's painted inside and out entirely in black. This box drum is more heavily associated with trauma specifically the intergenerational trauma that Indigenous people have had to face through the potlatch ban, the reservation system, and residential schools. Inside is a carved dogfish mask, painted in red and reveals two rows of shark teeth and hair made of horse hair. The dark interior of this box is important to note, as Parnell encourages the viewer to confront the piece, to step in and peer inside. Stepping back now, we can take a look at this row of box drums and appreciate the design elements on the exterior and the interior to better understand how these musical instruments can act as vessels for holding this notion of carrying and caring for one's cultural rhythm. 
Thank you for watching. This program is made possible by the Varley Mackay Art Foundation, Canada Summer Jobs, and TD Bank.